What's up, DJ fam? It's your boy, DJ Earns. Earns world to the world. Mix show DJs. And today we're learning the transform scratch. Um, basically, it requires a lot of fast movements on your crossfader. And simply letting this record go forward or backward, right? But since we're keeping it simple today, we're just going to go forward. All right? So check this out. This is how it's supposed to sound. Right? Fast movements on your fader, and you just let the record go. And as you can see, I'm not doing a bunch of scratching on the record. I'm not doing a bunch of movements here. It's, it's none of that. It's just fast movements, cross fader, let the record go. I'm gonna exaggerate so you see how simple it could be. Ready? I'm gonna let the record go. I'm clicking five times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Tapping five times. A tap is the same as a click. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Three, four. You always want to release the record on the downbeat, like this. One, two, three, four, one. Four, one. Four, three, four, one. Four. Now, to simplify even more, we're going to bring the number down as far as how many times we're tapping this, right? So you can hear the different variations. I'm gonna go five taps, then four taps, three taps, then two. All right, here we go. It's four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice you're not hearing any pullback. You're not hearing this part. You're only hearing the forward movement and the taps, right? So. And to develop more patterns, all you gotta do is combine your uh, forward transforms with your backward transforms. So we'll do that first. Like, so it'll sound like this. Right? So once you start to get the concept that a lot of it is just being really fast with your fader hand, you're gonna get it down pat. Um, so keep practicing. It's all about muscle memory. If you want more detailed scratch videos, sign up for the Mix Show DJ's Discord.